up to and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's my third day at Ishkon and today I'll get to visit their Akshay Patra that is their mega kitchen. Today I'm going to get a proper tour. It is 6 a.m. in the morning. Let's go. So this is the main temple and you see these are all the vans through which they deliver the food and we are going to this kitchen. Akshay Patra Foundation. So the story of Akshay Patra it all started with a window in around 1975 when Shri Prabhupada had just inaugurated the Mayapur temple of Iskon. After the inauguration, he was sitting with his devotees in his room and he was uh, having a light conversation after lunch. At that time, he noticed chaos outside his window. There were some dogs barking and children crying. So he came and looked out of the window and he noticed a bunch of poor children. fighting for scraps of thrown away food with the dogs so that moved him very much and he made a statement no one in the radius of 10 kilometers of our temple must go hungry so this was a seed giving idea for akshay patra which is now feeding 2 million children every day so to talk this all of him so i'm ready to go inside offer sanctified food which is offered to lord so it is prasadam so we have ranjit anna who is the operation manager at aksha kitchen bangalore so anna how many schools do you guys feed from this day? kitchen about 520 schools we feed every day okay. from to the northern and the western part of bangalore so we have four kitchens in bangalore uh, to the nook and corner of bangalore we serve about 1 lakh 80000 meals cumulatively only from bangalore From this kitchen, we feed 63,000 meals every day. Uh, our kitchen starts uh, from right from 9 a.m. the previous day. So we receive the vegetables first. The one set of people they go, they pre-process the vegetables. We have mixed up all vegetables. This place is good. And in the second half, they go and wash the vegetables, which they are returned from the schools. The other set of team they prepare the raw materials. They clean the raw materials required for tomorrow. But it's a tentative attendance. We collect it from the schools. We prepare a uh, tentative packing sheet. Based on the tentative packing sheet, we cook the food. So there is no wastage of food which we when we cook it. So only the required number of attendants is cooked in this uh, kitchen. So whatever there is a food wastage, there is a small floor waste which is what we have. It goes to the bio gas where we generate gas and use it for frying our bread. Every Friday we give them an add-on of avlaki, fried avlaki, along with the bisi bade baat aur kitchi. So our kitchen has close to 46 varieties of sambar. So one sambar which we cook today or one menu which is cooked today doesn't repeat for the next 30 days. We have so many varieties of menu which is cooked in this kitchen. And also I heard like regionally the menu changes. Yes, Bangalore the uh, where menu changes. Mysore there is different menu, Mangalore there is different menu, Hubli there is different menu, Ballari there is different menu. Based on the local palate. the spice uh, level everything is adjusted for the northern there is wheat based menu the, for the south it's based mainly of rice based menu sometimes we also cook millets and give to the school like ragi ball on saturday it's a wheat based menu where we give like different varieties of wheat based like rava kesari bath rava paisam or wheat uh, dalia wangi bath all these special varieties of wheat is made uh, in this kitchen so if you saw the rice section each rice section the uh, you saw the cauldrons There are about 11 rice cauldrons. Each rice cauldrons are, are a capacity of 500 liters, where the input rice is about 120 kilos and the output is about 300 kilos. 300 kilos reach thousand school children. In oh. about 30 minutes, we get a full batch, cooked batch of rice. Uh, the sambar dal, where you saw, it is about 1200 liters. So one full uh, batch of dal feeds about 5000 school children oh. in about 90 minutes. Okay, nice. Yeah, we start the kitchen early by 4 o'clock. And finish cooking by eight o'clock in the morning. So we have a logistics to reach different parts of Bangalore. So by twelve thirty, we finish all delivery of the food to the schools. So twelve thirty is still like uh, uh, like lunch time in the schools. So 
the food served, like the serving temperature of the school will be 65 degrees centigrade. Oh, okay. Because we cook about 90, now about 90 degrees centigrade. We have our vessels which keep the food hot. Those are like hot cases hmm. which keeps the food hot. Our vehicles, these are also like heat insulated vehicles which uh, remain, retain the temperature for a longer time. And this is the smallest kitchen I heard. One of the smallest. One kitchen of the smallest have. kitchen. Yeah. Our kitchen capacity, we can cook up to one lakh in about six hours. This okay. is our kitchen capacity. Okay. Thank you, Arnav.